everyone welcome back today we are at goodwill in gilroy california this is uh one of the goodwills that i like to go when i'm visiting the area this spot right here is where i like to go first i like to shop this one section where they have all the vases and then I do all the end caps and then I do the aisles. I know it's weird, but that's how I shop this particular Goodwill. So far, I'm not seeing too many goodies. I'm gonna check here. Now. I have um somebody's right behind me in this goodwill as soon as i come in that's why my filming is a little cattywonky at first is because it's so hard to film when there's somebody exactly right behind you there's some tubing that i check out because our friend she uses tubing I didn't know what size she used, so I left it. It's a cute little chicken, cute little creamer. These prices are not bad at this particular Goodwill. I like these uh, egg cups. Now I saw these Poppy Trail. I didn't know if I should get them, but I looked them up and the way the prices were on another website, uh, there wouldn't be enough meat on the bone, as they say, to get this particular uh, set of poppy trail. Um, like if I had plates and bowls instead of just bowls it would have been more profitable but there was no plate so I left them and I don't know what I'm doing here here we are at the white section as you can see there's it's section marked white over there Uh, there's a few knickknacks here and there. A lot of ramekins today. And then we move over. Let's see. Ooh, zoom out. Oh, a cute little hedgehog condiment little thing. It's cute, but. I left it behind. I like this. But if there was a set, you know, two or more, I would have thought about it. And I'm looking to see if I find any Fiesta wear. I always look for Fiesta wear. For personal and resale. Oh, here's a Franciscan platter. I liked it, but the the price tag was all jacked up. But I don't know. Was, I didn't feel like shipping something that big. Yeah. I like these dishes. I really like modern Asian style dishes. Oh, look at here. I'm not sure what pattern this is. If anybody knows what pattern that is, let me know down in the comments. It had some crazing and I knew it was old, but I don't know much about that type of dish. So I'm looking around. There's tons of white 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 and of course if you don't know about Goodwill 
Um, I have to do a voiceover because the music is really loud. Hope you don't mind the voiceovers. That looked like it was Pioneer Woman. Now I see this pattern a lot and I don't pick it up. But I, I do like it. Look, they put a bunch of plates on top of a bowl. Crazy the way people stack things. Those were neat. Not Fiesta. Ooh, and then I spot this. I really like this. But again, there was just one. So I left it behind. I'm going to look at those card plates in just a minute. I like these, but again, there was three. Three is a little bit harder to sell than like maybe two or four. Those were cool. Those were really neat. I should have picked those up. There's some Corel. Some more Pioneer Woman. And of course my finger. If you've noticed and you've watched my videos, you'd see my finger make a cameo in just about every video. I'll do a little backtrack on the other side. Check the little chops keys. Ooh, scary dolls. Look how cute. A little doggy cup. Those were so cute. I really wish they wouldn't put the price tag on over the maker. That would make it a, a lot easier for us resellers. But that's probably why they have it over the maker, so it makes it harder for us. And I'm looking, not seeing much. Oh, this. I think I've sold this person's pottery before. The, the signature looks familiar. So I pick it up. Quality is there. Oh, and then I see the frog in there. Yep, I'm picking that up. And the Crazy Daisy. I don't pick up Crazy Daisy anymore. It just doesn't sell for me. These cups are Ikea. And I'm looking around. Look at the mug time. The Circus Circus. I was hemming and hawing about getting this. I guess I should have picked it up, but but I chose not to. Coffee mugs. Ooh. Now these are nice. I wish there was four. They are Otagiri kind of looking, but I'm not too sure. It's a soup mug, Snoopy, another soup mug. Oh, and then I find another one. That's not a chip, that's a manufacturer flaw. But I was going to get these, but the glazing looked a little messy so I left those two behind here's Valentine ooh and look at that gimme a K some 
nice things. Ooh, this is nice. I go ahead and pick this up. I think it's really cool looking. So I put it in my cart. And I like this, but I don't need it. Some other stuff. Try not to film people's faces. Now that apple down there, that glass apple is by Mikasa. I look it up after a little while later and I put it back because the comps does, don't leave me enough room. Give me a K. There was a lot of things with K's on it that day. That's cute. <laughs> There's another K. Silver Isle. Just checking it out. No. Nothing there. We'll move on to the blues. Now these lamps were really nice. $8.79 a piece was a really great deal. Um, the only thing that was missing were the tops. And I'm sure you can find some tops for that, but I didn't want to keep them, store them until I found some tops. I guess glass tops uh, may be clear or some opaque ones like that with flowers. Some chickens. Sometimes there's a, I score really big at this Goodwill and today is just a so-so day. Here's the brownie section. Now these glasses were nice. Again, there was only two. Not too desirable. Even though the price was good. And vases, I don't know anything about vases. Not too much, I mean. And this lion. He really struck me as something pretty cool. So I pick him up. I think he'll do very well for me. And I'm looking around in the brownie section. Still nothing. Nothing too exciting. This vase here, you know, it kind of looks like a TJ Maxx, a Ross kind of vase. Now I put this in my cart. The comps were all over the place. So, I even at that price, I decided to put it back. The metal section. There's a few things to look at. Like this copper. I liked it. But. It's more of an Etsy. Item. Rather than an eBay. And right now I just have an eBay. So I left it. Looking around. This was cool. This is also an Etsy item. But it was big and bulky and I didn't feel like shipping it. 
So I left that. That was cool. If there was two, I would have picked that up and would have kept them for personal use. Uh, the Lotus. I wish I would have had the other piece. I would have picked that up too. But I already sold it. These uh, brass little uh, lantern candle holder thingamajiggies. Those are pretty neat looking. Two bucks a piece. A little higher than I'd like to pay, but those were so neat looking I had to get them. Looking around. Looking for things that maybe I can reuse for something. Oh, Jesus. There's another one of these uh, spice, spice, uh, what are those things called? Spice rack. They wanted nine something. There was two of them. There was one on the other aisle. I actually later picked that one up and put it back with the other one on the other aisle. So if somebody wanted them, they can find the two and look it, look it. Oh my gosh, I do not find one of these. Oh yes, I did. Oh my god, it's a unicorn find. <laughs> After I found that macrame owl, I was like, just breathe. That's a personal unicorn, as they say. Here I'm getting the vapors, so I gotta fan myself. <laughs> a macrame owl is a personal unicorn as they say of the pieces that you would like to find out in the wild so that was one of the pieces I get to mark off my list the wood section this was cool I kind of kicked myself for not getting this. It was really neat. But again, it was big. Now I loved these. Even though they have barcode, I think they were still older. They were so cool. But I left them for somebody else to find. And clown alert! Cute little clown stitching picture there. I thought about getting it, but I'm like, nah. Ooh, what's this? I don't know what that is. Fabric lantern of some kind. I'm looking. Oh, I like these bamboo things, but I like to get them when they're brand new. And I don't know. Maybe these were used for some celebration. They had little jingle bells on them. What's in the case? Nothing. Of course. Nothing. Some boogie boards. The designs were not you know, very eye pe appealing, so I left them. Some kind of lacquer or something. What's in this box? Corkscrew. These letter boards. I have a couple of these letter boards I barely use. I'm looking for something cool. And then I spot this. Yes, I am a beach person. But boy, look at that price for that little tiny thing. Look at it. $2.69. Look, it's no bigger than my finger. 
And ooh, that mask. And then I see these whiteboards. So I check out the whiteboards and I don't see anything I like. So then I went and took a look at the baseball photos that the lady was just putting up. Super cool. If you're not a baseball fan, then you don't get it. But look at that Lucy one. That Lucy one was so cool. This was so cool. You remember that painting? If you guys watch the Jeffersons, that painting. Oh, who's that? Come on, we all know who that is. And then we saw the Schwinn, which was cool. I have nowhere to store it. Otherwise, I would have picked it up. That's it, folks. Thank you for watching.